Buongiorno a tutti and welcome to Venezia. Um, just basically, so much is going on, but we're currently at the Darsena, at the, I don't even know how you call it, at the water taxi, like a place where you kind of get in, what is the word, like a dock? dock? No, that's in Serbian. Anyway, not a great start to the video, but we're in Venice. I'm super excited. It's been more than a year that I've been here. I don't know, it's just really, really exciting to be back, to have the beautiful weather, to be in Italy, to go to Venice. So right now we're getting on water taxi and that is why I also wanted to start the vlog here because I think it's always the most beautiful time to actually vlog everything from the beginning. I recently watched uh, one of like some of my like last Venice stories and last Venice videos and it was so incredible to me how much I have changed like over the years, how much I have learned, how much my work has changed, how much I don't know like so many things like to the better. I mean obviously the, there are some constants to my life as always like still it's kind of a lot of same things but a lot of changes as well and it's really beautiful when you visit cities to see that like you always see the same city with a different pair of eyes and that's the beauty of life. So I'm not gonna talk too much for the beginning of this vlog. If you're excited for it and you are not subscribed already but you're a regular watcher, please change that because it's just like I saw that a lot of you are watching my videos but not everyone is actually subscribed. So if you like watching, do subscribe and I will continue this vlog together with you. Let's do it. Last year, 20th of March, we were supposed to be here together, do you remember? And one and a half year later, it's happening. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be in Venice. It just feels like, I don't know, the sea smell is beautiful. so happy to be here but honestly uh, this is where I went to the glass factory it's incredible and um, Venice you know I used to take Venice so for granted because every August September there's a Venice Film Festival and I would very often come here for uh, the festival itself but then I would come on another occasion as well and uh, that didn't happen last year so I learned that I really need to appreciate every time that I'm in this beautiful city it's sad that we had to learn the hard way, but that's usually how life is, isn't it? And we are arriving at Hotel Excelsior, which is very familiar to all of you who have watched my Venice Film Festival videos, because this is where all the magic happens. Okay guys, we just arrived at the room. I wanted to show you quickly my outfit of the day, which is a Jacquemus dress. I actually wrote a blog post about my favorite day dresses for the summer. I will insert it, you will find it, and oh, this is one of the included dresses. This you can open, and under it's just like a normal dress. The Kate cardigan that I showed you in my getting ready for Venice um, video, and this came in so handy on the plane because it was really hot in Paris yesterday when I took off, but then so cold on the plane and so on, and the new um, comfy Sherling slides from Hermes as well as my Kelly, which is over there. So um, the room is like a massive, as you can see. Um, I have been, I believe I have even been in this suite before because several times when I came to get dressed for Armani, when I came to get dressed uh, like Julie was with the Je Je Le Cult, they would get like a suite at Excelsior and they would exhibit their pieces here. So I even think that I was in a this, or on this floor in a suite. But I wanna show you something over here, which is absolutely incredible. Are you ready? I mean, it's not every day that you get to be on the Lido and in Venice. You know, you get like the Venetian vibe here and then the beach here. And I think we're gonna go and chill in one of the cabanas because that just seems so dreamy right now. I wouldn't say the weather is most amazing, but you can see some people are swimming. I don't think I'm gonna be swimming, but I just wanna chill. Uh, 
love that. And here, it's also like a really big space over here. So it's a really, really massive room. And um, yeah, we're only staying here for the weekend, but I love this place. Oh wow, there's another bathroom over here. I love um, Venice, I love being at the Excelsior, it brings so many memories, so it's just really, really exciting. A little update. I was just telling my boyfriend, it took me like 10 minutes to get ready. I didn't show you anything much of this afternoon because we didn't go to the beach. It was raining a tiny little bit. We ordered some coffees on the balcony of the hotel with some cookies and we sat there lying. I mean, I was lying <laughs> on my boyfriend drinking coffee and being lazy for an hour and a half, doing nothing, just talking about life. And I love those moments the most. Now it's sunny, as you can see, the beach is looking beautiful. People are like walking around the beach in their swimming suits, which is so nice. And I got dressed for the dinner, so sorry for the mess in the background. It was very actually quick to decide what I'm gonna wear. I've got the Miu Miu grey pants and the white, the new top from Lucy Veroma, which I will as well link below as everything else that I show you in this video. I'm gonna wear my new Kelly and I'll bring the black blazer as well in case it gets a little bit cold in the evening because you know, it's like sea and stuff. So that's it, we booked a table, like a casual trattoria, so I didn't wanna wear um, a dress. Um, I think that's where we're going. Uh, we're going to this place called... Uh, is it a forno? It's called Due Forni. Due Forni. In Italia. Si. But in dialect, it's called Do Forni. Coere, I didn't coere, realize. Do Forni. I didn't realize that that's what Do Forni means. So, Due Forni Italia, Do Forni so, dialect. Okay, got it. Okay. So, uh, we are going to Do Forni, which is a trattoria. It's kind of like a casual night tonight, we just arrived. Tomorrow we're apparently having a romantic dinner. My other half has announced, right? Like a romantic, how romantic from one to 10? Uh, full six. Full six. <laughs> what, does, <laughs> what does a full six mean? Wait, what would a 10 romantic be? Like a roses, petals, candles, your favorite. Love it. Romantic is about the time. What do you mean? I mean, uh, early, early dinner is very, very romantic. Late one is not. I thought opposite. So the romanticism, it comes with the time. But do you know what time was our first date? Uh, 8.30. Or 8. Anyway, um, so... Uh, the plan is to quickly go now. We're gonna have a little walk around San Marco because we haven't visited in a while, like I said a million times already. And then uh, we're gonna go for the dinner. Okay, honestly, I don't know if it's the memory, not the memory playing in the background, but the memory, um, my memory, or is it that every time this place seems even more and more beautiful, it's just, it's just so stunning and it's like uh, almost 7 p.m. and obviously for 7 p.m. in June, normally this would be full, you know, but the tourists are only slowly starting to get back, so it's really special. Okay, it's dinner time. We were walking around a little bit of canals. It's really, really nice to see Venice. I mean, it is nice to see it quiet, even though, of course, the, it's a consequence of something not so nice, but it's still beautiful. I'll show you this little place where we are now. We are in a restaurant called Do Forno. Do Forni. Do Forni. Do Forni. And um, we're now at this restaurant. It's like a trattoria. It's very cool. It's kind of like busy, but my, my boyfriend recommended it because it's always very lively however um, it's very quiet now because we always eat very early this is very early for Venetians, no? yes, but we love it but, yeah, I know we love it but what time do Venetians normally eat? no, usually in Italy we eat, uh, you know, at 8.30, 9 so we're like a bit early I think like people will start coming in like half an hour but you see, we're like outside and there's a whole place here and, um, it's just really cool to eat in this little secluded street. 
Mm. How stunning is this presentation? There's a little heart. The heart, it is. Mm. Love it. We have some tuna. We have a little bit of everything. Put some oil, uh, oil lemon in the bag. Lemon, yeah. Just release it. Mm. Okay, so after a little starter with uh, oysters and some raw fish, now is crab meat, which by the way is one of my favorites. This is a never ending um, seafood tasting menu. We have a capesante, capelonghe. I love this. It's also called Saint Jacques, no? If you see, some things are the same like on our first date. Do you remember that you cleaned my fish on the first date? Yep. You know, I'm cleaning the mic. I'm already a little bit full. Are you full? Yeah, but we will try this and then you tell me what if you you're mean? full. How is it? It's insane. Insane. I was, when I eat pasta, I remember when you told me that you told me that I don't eat uh, spaghetti with, with a spoon because otherwise you would leave me. But instead you got a girlfriend that drinks cappuccino at like 5 p.m. It's mm. okay. Which one is worse? No, the pasta with a spoon. The pasta with a spoon Who is Who does worse? that? Uh, people do it, I've seen it. Not Italians. If you find me an Italian that mm -hmm. eat pasta with a spoon, mm -hmm. then uh, I do whatever you want, but I need the proofs. <laughs> what kind of proof? The, the pasta is so good. No? Spaghetti? No, it's insane. Spaghetti? They're amazing. So, over there further down, I'll try to zoom in, is the Ponte dei Sospiri. I don't actually know how to say it in English. I know in Serbian because... But I was saying that there's, there are not many cities out there that are as symbolic as Venice is. Like so many beautiful things here. With the bridge of size in the background, I'm asking you a question. Which cities in the world do you think are the three most beautiful cities? Because we're having this debate and we're thinking it's... We, it's not a debate, we're doing the top three okay. worldwide. Okay, top three worldwide, what do you say? I'm not saying in orders, I'm saying just like that, and then you put up the order you want, but for me there is no doubt. It's Paris, Paris Venice, Rome. Venice, Rome. You guys, leave a comment below. What, are, what do you think are the three most beautiful cities in the world? I was just a minute late to show you the top, but we didn't make it on time. However, I think this is one of the most beautiful clock towers in the world. Okay, let me show you this most beautiful clock tower. So it says nine o'clock, that's where it says nine zero zero and then here i am presuming that this is a year because the sun the little sun wait can you see the little sun i'll zoom in again so the little sun is showing at xx1 which is 21 and it's also in the field of gemini which means it's june but then how do we also know a date? I don't know. It says June 21 and 9 o'clock. I mean, I think it's pretty amazing. We were just saying that one of the most beautiful things about Venice is how the city changes in different lights. And I mean, it's always beautiful, but I don't know. I, just, I really do think this is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And I'm also trying to think of every single movie that I watched here. And from top of my head, I can remember The Tourist which I love, you hate, and also uh, Angels and Demons, which is about pandemic. I'm not sure you should watch it in this crazy time. My hair is a bit crazy because of the boat. It always gets like very weird after the taxi, like boat taxi. Um, so yeah, those are the two movies I can remember in Venice. Any others? Angels and Demons and The Tourist. Once upon a time in America, I almost said in Hollywood. <laughs> what else? Okay, if you can remember any other movies that were done in Venice, leave a comment. Well, you know what to do, I don't even need to tell you. Hey, good morning from Venice, new day. Slept like a baby last night, actually. After all the excitement of the day, I sometimes I am like a child where I go to bed and I feel so exhausted from all the feelings and everything. I just, I fell asleep. I think my boyfriend was still talking to me and I was asleep. 
we watched last night Djokovic, we watched um, a bit of football as well because actually I wanted to watch something when we get home, like a movie, but then Djokovic was playing and I was like, actually, you know what? I need to make sure to see Djokovic win this one. And that was very, very exciting, which of course he did. Like sometimes I'm just like, you know, I mean, I love tennis. I've always loved tennis, but it makes me feel so proud when a man from my country is like working so hard towards his goals and dreams and it's just very 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 inspiring for me at least so that was that now we're gonna head out for breakfast we wanted to go early for breakfast and then basically head to the venice city walk around a little bit and um, then spend the day at the beach but i think we're gonna switch around we're gonna do yeah we're gonna do breakfast beach and then venice and dinner there that's the plan because we're at the beach we're at the lido Today is also my sister's birthday. I called her last night at midnight and this morning. Okay, my breakfast is strawberry and pineapple, some bitter muesli and integrale and of course croissant with the crema. What's yours? Mm, integrale. What is inside? Mirtilli. Oh my god, that looks delicious. Also the cappuccino is so delicious. Today I am wearing, after a long time, my vintage classic pink Chanel flap. I love this so much and it's matching my plan, so I'll show you the outfit in a second. Guys, don't even ask me what I did today because I didn't vlog anything after breakfast. We took a... what is this thing called? Like a cabana at the beach and uh, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day which was like the pink trousers and I didn't film it, so I'll insert a picture here. Uh, I took a picture for Instagram in the pink trousers. <laughs> and uh, now we booked we didn't book dinner for tonight, so what we're doing is uh, we're playing it by ear, we're going to get ready and we're going to wanna take a gondola ride as well, which my boyfriend thinks is a little bit cheesy, don't you? I don't think it's cheesy and I met this gondolier and he was like, I'll take you on a gondola ride. So, obviously with my boyfriend, I'm not going with the gondolier. I love the gondola ride and we're going for a gondola ride. I think there's a cartoon. Isn't there a cartoon in Venice where there's a gondola ride? I'll think about it. Super quick before we leave to show you the outfit of the evening, though I will show it to you hopefully in Venice as well. I've got the nail sandals that I wear literally non-stop. They are in my capsule favorite pieces for spring summer. Chanel Coco Handle, one of my oldest bags that I have in Paris in general with me and this dress that you guys always ask me for. I hope the color is going to be like nicely shown, but I will link it below so you can check it out because it's really one of my favorites. time of the day because it's not too hot it's just amazing we're in the Grand Canal outside of the Doge Palace Piazza San Marco and we're starting towards Santa Maria de la Salute over there Fun fact, now that we're here, I remember very much back in the day I did a Cartier blog post about their amulet, the Cartier, and the topic oh, yeah. was pink. So I purposely came to Venice to shoot the whole project and this was one of the buildings that was in the background. I will insert pictures here in case you don't remember them, but it's so special to me. Say hi to the vlog! <laughs> This is so amazing to meet the Bravo, bravo, que l'hai vista, bravo! Um, in Venice, we're on gondola and like to see people is like super nice. Back to the San Marco. And finishing wow, so over here. Are you glad that I convinced you to take the gondola ride with me? Love it. Yes? Love it. Okay, so... So far, have I ever convinced you to do something and you didn't like it? Never. No, you never won. 
I honestly like um, I'm so proud of that that's one thing that I'm very proud like uh, we had an amazing time my boyfriend who is like oh I'm so Venetian is uh, <laughs> he enjoyed the gondola ride so much and I feel like that's a true victory because he thought that gondola rides are a little bit cheesy but now we put him wrong that was so amazing! Well, baby, I look so terrible right now. I mean, I don't know what happened, but A, it's hay fever, B, it's uh, the fact when you're on a boat non-stop, it kind of kills your hair. So, there is not much to show you. However, I have to say that my dress tonight really got all the compliments. We got so many beautiful comments for this dress. Even without the compliments, I recommend it. I didn't really film what we ate, but we went to a Martini Antico restaurant, which I've known from before, and the food was incredible. I ate the tagliatelle with the black truffle, which were insane. And uh, basically, um, food was so great, and we were in four because we were with some friends, so ended up not actually filming or I was not filming unfortunately uh, but hopefully tomorrow we go to Biennale we're not really sure what's going on yet and I will try and improve a little bit good morning everybody good morning for breakfast we don't have much talking time because today we are having coffee wow I tanned so much yesterday this morning I woke up and I was like whoa we're having a quick breakfast we have to rush because we're having to be an ale and then we want to have uh, one last swim before we head back to Paris so that is the plan for today and then uh, Paris vlog is over Today I'm wearing this Kate top. You guys ask me for this top a lot because actually I wore it to a tennis match when I went to Serbia. Um, these are the Valentino squirt shorts, squirt thing situation that you saw in my last video. And I love the combination of green and pink. These are so comfortable. I'm very happy to wear them today. Okay, so we just arrived at the San Marco, uh, and we have around one and a half kilometer walking to the Biennale, it's in uh, Giardino, which is at the very, very, very end of kind of when you pass next to the Grand Canal at the very other side. And uh, yeah, it's 20 minute walk, so we're gonna start walking over there. And I'm very actually happy because I don't think I walked in that direction many times, or at least not all the way to the end. I walked like past the Daniele and a little bit more. But that's about it. Honestly, these shoes are the most comfortable shoes I own. They're like, they're like walking on pillows. It's so comfortable. A little something that I wanted to show you is this crooked tower. Because the grounds in Venice are actually kind of not sinking, but they're not very firm. So we get to see these kind of leaning towers. Okay guys, we made it. This is a room called España and it's an exhibition, as you can see, which is pretty incredible. So this is pretty incredible in Spanish pavilion. All the papers about the project. Okay, next up is Holland. Let's see what they got in. They're usually really good at art. Since Biennale is about architecture, um, this one is focused on the ecology and it's actually an urban heat island, which is um, basically um, a part of the like land which is war significantly warmer than the rest. I know like very often you guys tell me that okay this is a fashion channel and you just want to see <laughs> fashion related stuff, but I think this is such an important part of lifestyle as well and life and it's so beautiful that i love showing you here on the wall they have like sort of a path of the future assembly from 1945 starting um you know kind of like making agreements about improving um actually conditions for the planet and the climate change going all the way to now so you can see there on the walls, it goes all the way to 2020, Paris Agreement, and Greta strikes. 
pub. More than a pub. We are now in the UK, uh, Grand, uh, Grand Bretagne, in the UK exhibition place, and it's like a pub installation. Honestly, I entered, I entered this, and it made me so nostalgic. It even smells like a pub. Right. I thought this was really cool. I have to say it's really beautiful to be here. Biennale, if you're in Venice for the next like, I don't know, like five months, I believe, or a few months, uh, you should definitely, definitely visit it because it's amazing. Like different pavilions belonging to different countries are basically uh, having like a lot to show. We went to quite a few. It's like 35 degrees today in Venice. It's unbearable. And first we walked all the way here. So right now, I have to say I'm like I cannot even hold up my arm to hold the camera to vlog but I know that in the end it's just so exciting to share this with you guys especially if you cannot come to Italy or to Venice so yeah this was it now we had to have to head back to the hotel because actually later on today I have a flight to catch and in between that and this I have to upload today's video, which I haven't done, and it's Sunday, so I don't want to bother anybody on my team, which I also could, but I don't want to, so I'm going back to the hotel to do that, and I will see you later. And we're leaving, so I'm very sad to say goodbye to this beautiful palace, but it's time to go back to work, unfortunately. So baby, for you the trip was 10 out of 10? Yes, 100%. And next week, Belgrade? Next week, Belgrade. It was 10 for you, next week in Belgrade. Weekend after that, Italian, Italian coast. And weekend after that, Croatian coast. Or is it that that's the weekend? I don't know, I'm getting lost in all the things that we have planned. Either way, back to work, both of us. And goodbye to this beautiful place.